my awesome sweet Aries people. I miss you guys. Aries, I hope you're doing wonderful. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Aries, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Aries, especially in relation to you. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, what's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey. Oh, this one is showing up very strongly as extra message. Wow. There's gonna be communication. This is this is you trying to be very strong, waiting for the right time to communicate. So you are anticipating communication between you and your soulmate. Oh my goodness, you've been through a lot of emotional roller coasters. Uh, ups and downs emotionally, heartbreak in your uh, current situation. Mm. Wow. This person wants to communicate with you. Yeah. This is them feeling sadness, regret, heartbreak. You know that you're going to have to make a right decision, uh, like a final decision. And uh, you feel that you are at a final crossroads when it comes to this connection between you and your soulmate. You want to make the right decision. You want to use sound judgment. You want to be fair. You know that you're either completely going to release this person for good or find if there's another way of working at this connection. Yeah, this person feels deep regret for losing you. So you guys are definitely not together. Yeah, you see, you had to let go because there was something toxic in this connection. Yeah, um, drained you, exhausted you. Um, yeah, whether they were in a relationship with somebody else or left you for somebody else or didn't offer you commitment or didn't express love. It looks like either they couldn't or didn't want to for whatever reason. They didn't put work into it. Yeah, you felt exhausted. You felt unbalanced, toxic. Because you, you did most of the work, if not all of the work. And they recognize that uh, they've made some serious mistake error that they regret. And that's why the two of you are not together right now. So it's good to know that this person is being honest with themselves. And they recognize they've made an error mistake that needs to be corrected, not repeated. And that's why the two of you are not together right now. Um, let's see. Universe, please show us uh, what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? You miss this person. Yeah, this is you missing them, feeling sad. That, yeah, you see, there was something toxic. So uh, you had no choice but to release this situation, at least for time being, because there was something toxic. So I don't know for some of you if this person is with somebody else or left you for somebody else or didn't express love, didn't make commitment, whatever it was, it was creating a toxicity between you two and you have to release it. Yeah. So the universe is recognizing it very loudly. You see, this rarely shows up twice in the same spread, but it's showing up here. Hmm. Wow. Look at this. The devil twice and page of once twice. This person feels very strong desires towards you. Uh, strong attraction. Hmm. You have some enemies at your job. Yeah. Toxic, jealous people wishing to see you fail. But guess what? <laughs> You're not going to fail. So those people who are jealous, who are toxic, who are vicious at your job or business, uh, 
when they do that to others, they create karma for themselves. You're going to succeed. You see, you're going to, uh, you know who your enemies are at your job or business. You know who they are. And you really are thinking of leaving uh, this place behind or uh, transferring whatever it is you feel the toxicity. So it's not the job itself. It's the toxic people, not all of them, but you know who they are that you're working with. Yeah. It, it, the toxicity at that job has drained you, you see, drained your energy. Yeah, look at this. You feel like you've done all you could do and you need to move on with your life. I'm so sorry you're going through so much. Yeah, you have some toxic people at your job. Uh, one person in particular, there's more than one, but one person in particular wishes to see you fail. Uh, yeah. But guess what? They just bring that energy to themselves. It's it's reflecting onto them. So when people do that, they create karma for themselves. Yeah. Uh, you just have to watch your back. And, you know, they everywhere we go, some places have more of them than others. But, uh, yeah, you see, your person that you let go of, the soulmate, you see, we got the devil twice, we got the nine of swords twice, and we got the page of uh, once, twice. This person wants to break silence and communicate with you. Yeah. Look how strong you are. Aries, give yourself credit. You are extremely resilient, strong. Uh, you're going to conquer uh, any toxic situations, connections that you have to deal with. You're going to see very clearly what you need to do. You see, look how powerful you are. Yeah, you are powerful. You are strong passionate good for you aries whatever toxicity you're dealing with in your life you're gonna conquer you're gonna see very clearly how to deal with those yeah you see look at this look at this you feel like you've been betrayed by a lot of people in your life you see look at all those swords in your back but the good thing about ten of swords is that this is the the worst you you feel uh so this is you uh, seeing very clearly who you need to walk away from, who you need to keep in your life, who your friends are, who your enemies are. You're going to make wise decisions for yourself, uh, completing those difficult karmic cycles, moving on with your life. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries. Wow. I wasn't supposed to do your reading today, but I felt so strongly. My guide, the main guide who does the readings, actually, I don't do the readings. The guides do it. The divine does it. I just talk like a parrot. And my job as a reader is to be honest, objective, without sugarcoating. I have to be honest. So uh, my guide, my main guide who does these readings was the one who insisted that I do Aries reading today, not tomorrow or two days from now. Yeah, look at this. My gosh, you're dealing with toxic people in your life. So whether it's toxic relatives, toxic neighbors, toxic fake friends, coworkers, whoever they are, uh, Look at this. Do not let people drag you into their gossip circles. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. For example, this is just an example. If you have toxic relatives who are fighting, bickering, and trying to drag you, pull you in to take sides. Mm -mm. No, no, don't do it. Uh, tell them to resolve their own self-created drama. Do not get involved in other people's drama. That drama is in their life to teach them important lessons. You can't resolve their issues anyway. Even if you tried, that drama is in the life to teach them lessons. Do not let people drag you into the gossip circles. Do not take sides. Stay neutral. Let people resolve their own self-created drama. Yeah, don't participate in the drama. A lot of people create their own drama to get attention. Yeah. Wow. Your soulmate uh, wants to come towards you with some kind of emotional offer. Your soulmate is sad, heartbroken over losing you. Yeah. Whoever the people are in your life that are causing this drama, they they upsetting you. They uh, making you very upset emotionally. It's very important that you smudge your residence with sage or palo santo and take sea salt baths. Important communication is going to happen. There's going to be revelation of some kind of important information from different sources where you're going to see very clearly who to walk away from, who to keep in your life. Yeah, you're going to let go of toxic people who bring you down, who make you depressed, who drain you. Yeah, 
you see, be careful what you wish for because you're going to get a beautiful wish fulfillment. I'm so proud of you. Uh, Aries, you're so resilient. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. The universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? Mm. It feels weird. This energy feels weird. Like heavy. This person wants to reconcile with you at all cost. Yeah. Especially since this is showing up in position one. This person has reconciliation on their mind. Wow. This person doesn't want to give up on you. No. They don't want to give up on you. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo Leo, but they could be any sign really. Wow, this person is going through a lot emotionally. They want to break the silence. They want to communicate better. Uh, this is them dealing with important things in their life that have been heavy on them, weighing heavily on their shoulders. This is them seeing very important truths in their life, what they need to walk away from, what they need to let go of. Yeah, they're dealing also with a lot of chaotic people in their life as well. This person is dealing with a lot of chaos as well from other people in their life. Yeah, see, this is them recognizing clearly who they need to let go of, who they need to keep in their life. This person wants you to be in their life. They love you a lot. You guys are connected. You have a very long-standing soul history together, past life uh, connections, you see, between you two. A lot of you are dealing with Gemini. Universe, please show us. Wow, heavy reading. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? Look how sad they are about losing you. They think you let them go for good. They're so sad. This person wants to be in your life. They're very emotionally attached to you. They're sad. This is them looking very objectively at everything in their life, recognizing what decisions they need to make. Uh, this is them making wise assessment of everything going on. Yeah, you see, they want to break the silence, communicate. They want communication, communication, back and forth communication. A lot of you are dealing with Scorpios and Sagittarius. Wow, they don't want to fight, argue. They don't like this energy between you two. They want more peace, harmony, understanding, clarity. Universe, please show us. Huh, a lot of you are dealing with the Leo again. Universe, please show us also Taurus, Pisces. Um, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? They're missing you a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. This person feels so sad, abandoned, misunderstood by a lot of people. This person feels very sad. I'm so sorry you both are going through so much. They want to reconnect with you. Yeah, you see, look how connected the two of you are emotionally and spiritually. Very connected. This person wants you back so badly. This is them hoping, wishing, praying to communicate with you. They love you a lot, but you see the cups are empty. They're not filled with liquid. So this shows that, and because with this combination, specifically with this combination here, it shows that this has been turbulent connection emotionally. A lot of emotional roller coasters in this connection for both of you. Sadness, a heartbreak, but at the same time also happy moments. A lot of happy moments and then sadness again and breakups. Uh, it looks like you guys broke up more than once. <coughs> and each time it impacted both of you uh, more emotionally, which makes sense, right? Exactly. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, please show us. Yeah, major transformation coming to your lives, yours and theirs. You see, rebirth, regeneration, spiritual awakening. Universe, please show us uh, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries. Oh, you see, the tower moment happened because it had to happen. Something was heading in the wrong direction. Something was toxic heading in the wrong direction. So uh, this is universe stepping in, showing the two of you that you were on the right path. But this will only give you uh, an opportunity to have a new beginning, 
start something from the ground up. Uh, yeah, uh, on, on solid grounds, you see? Something better. This person wants to see you so badly. They want to smooth things over. They want to see you so badly, but they're scared of your rejection. Yeah, you see? They've been waiting on communication to happen. This is them reminiscing of you, missing you, wishing to see you. They're not sure if they will, but they want to. This is them healing, releasing the past, learning important lessons. We're all here to learn, right? We're all here to learn. Um, that's what we're doing. Balancing karmic debts, learning. That's what balancing karma is. Learning important lessons from each other. Aries, what a powerful reading. We're going to go into your extended reading and ask about this person's true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So, Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.